Hello, friends and... Oh, shit. Hello, friends and lovers. Welcome back to Hades, a new beginning. This is episode seven of a small series that we're having here where I started a brand new save file on hell mode. If you missed the previous ones, there will be a link to the playlist in the description. Anyway, onto the run itself. We just unlocked the rail. No, we do not have aspects yet. We will have them right after this run. So we are going to do a run with the rail, of course, then. And the best does. keepsake for the rail in this ascent has got to be Zeus easily. Not even a question. Now, there is a chance we'll get screwed and we cannot get Zeus's attack here. In which case, we're going to have a bad time, most likely. Well, there's a good chance we will have a bad time uh, because of that. Here's the mirror in case you missed the last sewed here. Pretty much doing the best we can. We still need tons of keys in order to try to get further than that. I, we have all the weapons unlocked, so now we're going to need Titan's Blood to actually get some aspects going on. And I am I guess I'm willing to listen to requests as to what uh, aspect you'd like to, me to unlock and play first here. Consider this the poll, you know what I mean, in case you're watching this. Um, I'm going to say it's not going to be Fist, it's not going to be Rail, it's not going to be Sword. But I guess I'm open to the other three... Just because those are the last three weapons that we did, basically, for the series. So I guess uh, whatever everyone, I don't know, updoots the most or whatever. Anyway, let's get started, shall we? We're just going to do it on six heat as we have been. Nothing too fancy. We're still, like, not weak, I'd say, but it's a bit of it's a bit of a slog. It's a bit challenging. What do we got here? Cluster bomb? Hazard bomb? Spread fire. I can tell you right now it's not going to be spread fire. That's for sure. Hazard Bomb is actually pretty good, I would argue, when you're new, when your character's new, when your save files do, one might even describe. Hazard Bomb's actually not bad. A Cluster Bomb is kind of just a... Yeah, I don't know if I'd call it better. It's it's easier to hit stuff with the, the, the damage of the Hazard Bomb, right? A Cluster Bomb's just really good. Plus, there's a really powerful hammer combo if we can get it to happen. That's it. All right, I got to kind of remind myself because we haven't I haven't played the rail in a hot minute. I already took one hit. Okay, I did rebind it like I thought. We still need keys just to get further down the mirror. And now we need a lot more darkness too. Since once we get to the further parts of the mirror, we need like a ton. So now darkness is taking a bit of a priority. Now that we've gotten the aspects going, basically. I know we don't have an aspects this run, but we're going to unlock them next run. That was sort of the the big push was to get enough keys to unlock all the weapons, and that way we can actually start using the aspects on them. Now that we've done that, we can kind of focus on upgrading the mirror, gemstones, uh, to get some stuff from the contractor as well. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I, have, I haven't really gone this far in a new save very often. Sometimes I would do fresh file to credit speed runs, but I wouldn't think this hard about the meta. We don't need to gift Zeus again, that's for sure. It's a bit questionable. Yes! Got the attack. Whew! It was dangerous, because if we didn't get it, we'd probably have a bad time. It's questionable if he takes um, chaos here. I guess I'm not really convinced that we should. We don't have any rolls, right? Faded authority, as you want. This is a palm, which isn't so bad. That's guaranteed to hit the attack, right? So... I'm gonna guess we're gonna have an okay time since we have the attack. It's still not guaranteed to be a good time yet. You know, what is a good time? A good time would be we get jolted soon after this, probably. And then I'm gonna call it a good time. We would like Splash Dash. Does it have to be Splash Dash? No. I'd probably settle for Athena's Dash, but those are basically the two dashes. It's kind of... It's kind of a bit, um disappointing when trying to play your best at Hades each run either boils down to having Poseidon's ass or Athena's dash if you want to take like the most optimal thing unfortunately <laughs> I mean we could settle for like Zeus's dash or I don't know I guess Ares's dash you know what I mean but you're really settling at that point in time Hmm, we only have $79. I guess we could go for Artemis's special, which would be fine. I guess we will. It's questionable if you do this. You might actually prefer to just walk through the shop and just not buy anything, right? Because it means you get another chance to see a n different mini boss door that might give you a god that isn't Artemis, most preferably more Zeus at this junction. At this junction.
So what I'm trying to do is while I'm throwing out the special, I'm hitting the reload button, then throwing out the special. That's sort of my goal there. Ooh. Well, you definitely don't want to swap the attack. It's horrible. It's horrible, let me tell you. The call's okay. I've actually grown to like it a little bit more lately. I think it's okay here. And with their style of build already, um, I think it, we can build up a full call from time to time, at least on the bosses, probably. We have a lot of, we have a lot of hits being delivered, basically. So yeah, basically, once I get, start to get kind of low on ammo, I don't even look at it. I just kind of get a start to get a feel for it. I don't necessarily go to zero or anything, that's for sure. I'll hit the reload button first, then I'll hit the special button. Is that what I actually do, or is that just what I say I do in my head? <laughs> that's what you should do, at least. I think that's what I do. Now I can't tell because I'm thinking too hard about it. <laughs> if I may be so now I'm not so sure. I'm busy, Sisyphus. Money. Jammies. Okay. Good meta so far. I don't know if I should be taking the Dark Thirst weapon or whatever they call it. The one where you get more darkness for using it every run. It does mean that we don't get a proper rotation between all the weapons, though, if I do do that. Potentially. And you might see more of a weapon that we don't like, for all I know. Ho ho ho! That's pretty good. Now that's a trial Papa wants to take. I feel like I actually tend to skip trials quite often. I think Artemis' trial is actually quite easy. Nice! We're cleaning up here. And we got a fish. And we got ourselves a fish. This is definitely a really nice warm-up. Uh, thinking about Hades 2 coming. Because there's so many things in the first game here that I haven't had to think about or I ignore or blah, blah, blah. Namely around any sort of meta stuff, right? The currencies, the fishing, the mini games, all the different things uh, involved around enhancing the character. Like, I haven't had to think about that in Hades in so, so, so long, especially in a long, a long style format like this one, right? So this is kind of a nice warm up to kind of take it easy, go a little bit slower and pay attention to your surroundings a little bit more for me. So, we don't like the dash. It doesn't really help. It doesn't make us deal more electric damage. The cast is whatever. Uh, Hunter's Mark is good, but not particularly in this instance. So, I guess we take it under the premise that we could eventually get, um, like, pressure points or something, right? My hand. That's about it. I think taking the cast there, like, it's just not really going to do anything. It's not going to help much. It doesn't help us get, like, any... Doesn't help us get Lightning Rod better or anything, that's for sure. Man, can't get a perfect catch for the life of me, you know? What do you got? Eh, I don't think it's worth 21 bucks to grab that. I don't love the other one, too. Let's take Max out here. Money's looking fine. Okay, my friends. How we doing? If Artemis' special was there... Oh, that was easy. That probably would have been the take, honestly. Our boots are quite strong. Taking the max health here isn't wrong. We're in chamber 12, so that does mean that this is this was the last chamber of Tartarus before the boss. So that we know that the next chamber, which is chamber 13, is going to be the shop where you can buy things or the free shop, as I tend to call it, which would be the free health on the right side there. In case you don't know. In case you don't know. Uh, it's kind of a tough choice. We do have very good boons already, but I think that almost leads me to think that we can do even we can settle for even better oh ho, ho, ho. no gold pots around i was really hoping we're gonna take poseidon we talked about splash dash and we didn't get it <laughs> um the special's not horrible here actually it's a pretty high percentage with poseidon and it does enable sea storm i don't know if we really care about sea storm at all we kind of don't I guess in case we get the crazy hammer combo, which is rocket bomb plus cluster bomb. We already have cluster bomb. The cast is whatever. We just don't really plan to make good use of the cast, I would say, here. It would be difficult, too. I know it's epic and stuff. 
that's a that's sort of one of the traps in Hades is that we will often I mean rightfully so when you're new to the game you don't know what things are good oh it's the first time we get to see Electo I think when does she call us trash god Uwu? that's all I'm here for you know And I do this in new games that have like a Hades style system too, where like I, I can't really tell without any experience what's going to be the best pickup. So I take the thing that has higher rarity supposedly, right? So it makes sense. But yeah, that is one of the traps is that uh, we tend to... Couldn't tell what she was doing there. We tend to want to just pick up the rare things, the shiny builds, so to speak. The shiny builds, as they say. I don't like her very much. How dare you put down Electo like that, Zangrius? How dare you? The special did the most damage. Really? See? Looks like we made the right choice. I am still actually surprised by that, even though I talked us through it. I'm kind of surprised by it anyway. <laughs> I mean, more Poseidon boons would be good. Especially the dash. Yeah, sure. I mean, if we don't get the dash, we have some we have some backups here. I don't think we need any of that. Let's go you know, we could still take Razor Shoals, Breaking Wave, Wave Pounding, Typhoon's Fury. That's the thing with Poseidon that's so good is like, like all the tier twos are pretty strong. They all do something. Might not be like orgasm worthy or anything like that, but you know, it works. All right, my friends. Now, it can get a bit weird if we do get clockets, cluster rockets, rocket bombs, whatever you want to call it, the two hammer combo. It can get a little strange in the sense that the knockback from the Poseidon special will make enemies slide around like crazy. But that's only if that actually happens. And even then, it's not that big of a detriment in a scenario like this. Look what I found. Um... I think it's still keys. I think keys are worth more than darkness still for now. We still have like big chunks of the mirror to uncover. And you just need like so many keys, right? It can be... I gotta pay attention for troves too. You tend to... Like a lot of the fish just give you darkness too, I think. Actually, you know what? I kind of don't know shit about the fish. Why am I not reloading? I swear I'm hitting the button. Huh. I think I'm just being, I think I'm just sloppy. I, I kind of don't remember anything about the fish. I just remember the rarer the fish, the better. The further in, the better rewards, quote unquote. But sometimes better means like a, a diamond, which is really not that good. You can slowly convert them into Titan blood, right? But I truly mean slowly. Yeah, I don't want to skip the shop here. You only get offered this mid shop once per biome. If you skip it, you ain't getting it. And we got some money. Athena's here, so we could settle for her dash. But then there's Poseidon too, right? Kind of want these gems. Cheers, mate. Damn, didn't get to hit up the special, which is probably what I would have done. Call is definitely not the right choice. It is definitely jolted. Definitely jolted. The call, we haven't built up a full one yet at all. We have had to use the singular instances quite a bit. Uh, this could actually get dicey. Try to use this pillar here. Ah! 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 Yeah, it's just kind of messy since they're, we're shuffling them around here. There we go. You the last one? I think so. Oh, I had to think about that one a little bit, right? <laughs> That's kind of spicy. Damn. No dash. Again. Hot dog. All right. Guess we're going to take Razor Shoals. It's okay. But yeah, good reminders here. Yeah, if, if any of you started out a new save yet, watching this, I've seen a few people talk about, like, they, in the comments, like, they mentioned how they started a new save after, after this or after watching. It's, like, very cute. Appreciate 
appreciate well i don't know i don't know if that really helps me but it's a. Uh, it's nice to see <laughs> that I can influence people to have a good time in some way, you know? Ah! And still appreciate the game, even after all these years. Hmm. Uh! Money. Chaos is here. Yarn. I think we do buy the Hydra Light. We're not, like, super low. Not really convinced to take Chaos here. Gems are generally worth more than darkness, but I do need a lot of darkness right now. Eh, feels bad to turn down gems ever, basically. Turn down nectar at this point in time. Unless you're actually just trying to progress the story, but I don't think we'll be doing this. Doing that for this save file. Hey, a trove. Let's hope that we get something useful out of it. Whoa. Oh, wow, that was a really quick room, I gotta say. It's health restoration, but we got Hydra Light on. It doesn't matter. We'll probably lose more health than I'll gain. I think at this point, we'd take the free health here and conserve our money. Okay, not too bad. We still have a lot to unlock. Like, we haven't unlocked any fountain rooms outside of Tartarus. That'd be nice with the jams. Another new look for you, I see, Bone Hydra. It'd be nice, but I don't know. It seems like it has... I feel like it has a low priority. Nevertheless. Nevertheless. Come on, bud. Do-do-do-do-do-do. Okay, let's try to get a big hit here. Stay right there, Lurney. Thank you. It's much easier to get, like, that going if you're right next to him. Zag will just automatically target all the bombs from Cluster Bomb on the enemy. The further away you are, the more spread it's going to be. Sometimes it's just not worth it, though, right? What? What? Whoa, buddy. Aha, you didn't get me this time. No slams today. Okay. It was okay. It was okay. Come on, Sea Storm. Show me that Sea Storm. Give me that Sea Storm. We have a pretty spread amount of damage here, I gotta say. Between the Chain Lightning, the Jolted, and the Special, I'm kind of surprised Jolted is dealing that much. You know, it's like nearing the lead, shockingly. It is a possibly the best tier 2 boon that exists, honestly. I mean, it is level 2. If the Special got one palm, it would probably be above it, if I were to guess. Even like the white damage is surprisingly good there from the rail. Whereas the Call is, of course, pretty underwhelming. And Rupture... Once again, I said it earlier in the series, like, I take that boon fairly often still when I have to. But I think I've, I've, I've grown to think of it a bit less over time. What are we doing here? Probably just gonna take the darkness, honestly. Do I sell Razor Shoals? Nah. You just don't get offered that many boons, you know? I guess I'm just gonna try to level Charon's Keepsake. I will buy that. I don't think I should buy that. There's not a whole lot we could get that would be super useful. But yeah, I want to level Charon's Keepsake. Because if we really want to start plowing through runs, the best way to do it is to start using like some specific builds that make good use of Charon's Keepsake. Aspect of Hera with Crush Shot. Beowulf. Uh, with Flood Flare. Uh, so that's uh, Shield and Bow. For the sword, you could do, like, an attack-based build. So, like, the jerky... Finding jerkies would be nice. Achilles, Flurry Jab is the build. Like, these are all basically the best builds I just randomly started naming off for some reason. <laughs> now, the thing with the rail is the attack doesn't stagger enemies. Uh, 
unlike everything else. So it's it's kind of a dangerous uh, weapon in that sense. And if you keep attacking, you probably know so you can hold down the attack button and dash around while doing it. But you may have also noticed that you tend to get hit often with that. And that's because the game actually removes your iframes while you're dashing around and holding down the attack button. That basically means that the invulnerability you'd normally get from dashing when using, say, the sword or the bow, you don't get if you're holding down the attack button on the rail. Possibly to run the fist too, but I can't tell. I'm actually not positive about that. We definitely level Jolted, Strongest since it's clearly doing so much of the work already. Can we agree? Come on. Fish. Come on up. Hey, a charm. Hey, a perfect catch for once. I was focusing that time. Um, yeah, we're taking the second rail. Come on. Rocket bomb, rocket bomb, rocket bomb. Uh, um. But yeah, first aspect to unlock in the next run. I almost don't want to tell you what I'd pick, because then that would influence you to just choose it. If you watch a lot of my videos, you probably already have an idea anyway. <laughs> So, yeah, don't worry about what I want. I'm curious what other people want. Even if it was one of the weapons that maybe uh, I said that we're, we're not going to choose, you can still tell me what you'd like to see. You'll just be, uh, you'll just be completely ignored. Rocket bomb, rocket Oh! I tried, I almost dropped my controller, which probably would have led to something terrible happening, like it choosing flurry fire for us. Rocket bomb plus cluster bomb is totally busted, bonkers, broken. Um, there's actually a small, assumedly unintended bug here where if you have rocket bomb and cluster bomb. So, okay, let's start off. At the, let's start with the basics here. <laughs> Your special becomes a rocket that deals 80 base damage. 80 base damage is very, very high in the game of Hades for personal computer. That is a large amount of base damage to be triggering. And so shooting off five bombs that deal 80 base damage is really strong. And you might be saying, well, what about the negative 30%? Well, that's where the uninten unintended bug comes in. Because when you combine these two, I guess the, the base damage from rocket bomb overrides that negative effect that cluster bomb is supposed to give you. And boom, where you just got like a wet, sloppy rocket popping off here, left and right. It's a beaut. It's a beaut. It's a beaut. All right, let's see if we can palm the special here then, please. Oh, baby. It'll be interesting to see the damage charts here. We still buy Zeus. Feeling strength is okay. We didn't get Sea Storm, which actually would have been quite nice. I suppose. Storm Lightning is probably the most useless boon in the game, besides the fact that it uh, enables the legendary boon from Zeus. Other than that, it is completely useless. <laughs> it does. I mean, I guess it doesn't do nothing. It's not like it's bugged or anything, but it, it the, the effect is just so useless, you know? Let's fight a mini-boss, I suppose. So now we want to make sure we lodge our... It's that big soul catcher again. There we go. We want to lodge our bloodstones because we want to make sure the special deals more damage. Have we gifted Aphrodite? Oh, Christ. I can't remember. Feel like I have. Sinister ball of butterflies. Think so. Can't remember. Can't remember. Yeah, I don't really want these. I don't even want passion dash. We still don't have privilege status unlocked. Take the key over the gems for now. Yeah, you saw the special damage. Hey, it's our first time eating Thanatos. Thought you could just get away from me, did you? Yes, I did. Thanatos. I figured it was only a matter of. Zagreus. Is that Zagreus. Unfortunately, we don't have time to really listen to your speeches. Send them out, the wet slops. Now, I guess maybe my memory of the story is a bit fuzzy. 
But did they or did they not paint Zag and Thanatos as like uh, adopted brothers, kind of in a sense, step bros, as you will, perhaps, one might say? But then later on, when Zag finds out, like, hey, we got different moms, bud, suddenly the, 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 you know, the climate kind of changes. Oh, yeah, you have to talk to him now. Oh, Than Than is actually on the damage meter. Third. That's the best you can do, bud. Can't even beat out Chain Lightning there. Ah, let's grab Hermes. It has been a while, so I guess I don't totally remember what the deal with these two is. Maybe that's not how they painted it. But for some reason, I thought that. Okay. There's not much strategy here. Go point blank and uh, clobber him with Rocket Bomb if you can. Even spreading it out is pretty fine. Ugh. Those are not good. We're going to take Raider Evasion. It's the best one. Even like 10 or 20% special speed would have been better there, I'm going to say. Looking at my resources here. Yeah, still gonna, just going to prioritize gems and uh, keys more than anything, probably. You can get some uh, darkness potentially from things like uh, Troves. But yeah, eventually, like, you kind of don't need more keys. And I guess you could regret that when you're forced to take a lot of keys later on. You could. Uh, and, yeah, like, toward the end, you're going to need more darkness than keys. But at the front end, you just need so many of them. And, unfortunately, it's not like we can take the save file all the way to, like, maxing out every single thing. I don't think I don't think there's going to be enough time in the year for that to happen. So <laughs> let's see Zeus or Artemis from Zeus. The best we could do is lightning rod sea storm from Artemis. We could get lightning rod pressure points. Yeah. Hmm. It's actually kind of a tough choice. I guess Zeus is more fun. Send me to Zeus. Zeus is more fun. Can we agree? Maybe we can get a... Do, 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 do. We can get one of those dual boons. I mean, we got two on offer here. We're still missing two, two core boons, though. Lightning Rod would not be horrible here, also, I would argue. Woo! Alright, my friends. Relax. Whoa, 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 whoa. Staggering the chariots is just so important. And so when your attack doesn't do that, it's pretty scary. Damn. Nothing. You know, the dash is kind of okay in this instance. Hmm. It applies the jolted. And since we're especially a lot more commonly, I guess it's the way to go. Do I want to take the hydrolite? We can take a free palm. Yeah, I think it's fine. We didn't need it heavily, but it's okay. Palm is fine here. Yeah, yeah, we're just gonna have to do Jolted again. For sure. I don't think Razor Trolls has gotten much better, even with the, the special, like, moving enemies around a bit more. I really don't think so. I'll have to check out the damage meter a little bit more closely after this, but I don't think... I, I can't imagine the Palm is worth it still. Hey, everyone, I'm back. Well, okay, I... my friend. Uh... How did you achieve this, my friend? My dearest friend? Okay, one, two, buckle my shoe. Ow! Got him! Holy crap! The burst damage. Good thing we bought that Hydrolite, though. I got bonked left and right. With more Zeus effects and some of the other things going on here, the, the harder it kind of becomes to clarify what the hell's going on, right? So yeah, we got bonked a lot, but look at that damage, huh? The special is just popping off. It's crazy. 
clearly very strong. The eight actually did a lot too, right? Surprising amount there. But only in that one battle. When you when you quantify it across like the entire run, it hasn't been like crazy useful. I know it seemed great there, but and it wasn't it hasn't been doing it too too much. Those aren't gonna last long enough to be meaningful. Definitely don't want to sell those. Let's move on. One more stop. Away we go. This has been fun. This has been fun. I feel like I don't I don't open up about this and like my maybe I do open up about this. <laughs> my feelings towards Hades and stuff. I don't know why I'm suddenly uh overtaken with the need to discuss this or something like that. Um I feel like we get into it on stream probably a bit more regularly. If I were to imagine. But Hades is a game I've played for a long time, and so it's it's not always easy to find fun and interesting things to do in the game for myself. And especially something that's fun and interesting for me and for people to watch. So getting the, the positive feedback or that people are enjoying watching it is a nice affirmation for someone who's actually having a good time playing again, too. Because it's hard to get both of those things uh, going on. It's hard to get both of those things where I'm enjoying a game and some other people are enjoying a game, you know? But, this, but I also realize that it's sort of infectious. You know, you ever watch someone... I do this when I watch other people play games, too. It's kind of infectious. Like, if they're having a good time, like, yo. Yo, yo, this is this is fun. Like, I don't actually care about this game, but they're having such a good time. I'm kind of... They kind of got me hooked now, I gotta say. If they're having such a good time, maybe I could be having such a good time if I played this game. <laughs> What do you got? No special speed. I think second wind is a pretty strong boon with 30%, 36% dodge. We probably can't build up a full call. Hyper sprint doesn't do a whole lot for us when uh, we can't get rush delivery. I mean, it's not, it's actually not terrible. Still just has its own utility. I'll admit it's not terrible. I probably shouldn't buy this yet. Oh, nice. We got double strike. It will help Jolta deal more damage. Cloud of judgment wasn't the worst thing I've ever seen either, I'll say. I don't think it was it would actually be that bad here, but Double Strike is definitely better. Oh yeah, we also have Billowing Strength already. I kind of forgot. We're gonna take that. I'm sure we'll be fine, right? Hey, Skelly's Tooth is level 3. These rooms are always skewed on the DPS meter because the little rats actually have literally one health. One health. Can you believe it? That's all. But they're still like kind of... I don't know how to describe it. Hard to hit in a sense. They always get a... An, I guess you'd call it an attack off. Because when they actually spawn out of the ground, they deal a small AoE amount of damage before you can actually hit them. So standing on top of them as they're coming out of the ground, is you're just going to end up getting hit, unfortunately. They're a nightmare for hitless rounds, let me tell you. Wave of Despair is fine. Don't really want to take the things for the prophecy there. What was a crush shot? Yeah, that'd be pretty annoying, honestly. I think we should be fine here. This is definitely... I know, I say it I say it most of the time, but look at the timer on this, too. Clearly our strongest run, clearly our fastest run. <laughs> Didn't struggle with the damage here, but we did get quite lucky. This is a nice... Uh, this is a nice change of pace from the sort of struggle we had with the fists in the previous run. Can we agree? Because that was... You know, it started off fine, but it just petered off so hard. We petered. Oh, the number of peters that occurred in that run. I can't I can't even begin to tell you. Alrighty, my friend. Oh, my special didn't go off for some reason. Hello? I'm kind of just spam in the special button but there's an there's an internal cooldown for how often you can fire the special of course so you can't just like literally spam it but ideally you'd cast it as soon as possible each time right because it deals so much I kind of just want to use the call from time to time to make sure that we keep up building strength and the other move there second win Ow! Again. 
Ow, again. Get him. Okay. We managed to build up full call, though. Look at the damage meter. It's so far out of whack. I am glad we took Poseidon's special at the end. Bonk. Doesn't even compare to the special, though, still. He does summon pots here. For some reason, like, I thought... Like, I got so confused for a while. Ow. He's gonna do the spin. Whenever he starts to do, like, the run around there, it means he's gonna spin. Got him. <laughs> Record time, baby. No matter how many times you beat me. Damn. Damn. No aspect still, by the way. That's without aspect of Eris, which would normally... This would ba basically increase your damage output by an in insane amount. Because the buff from Eris is 75% more global damage. So this that would make this so absurd. Oh, we still haven't gotten a win with the shield, I just realized. Eh, I already kind of promised that I'd take whatever aspect y'all requested the most. So I'll stick to that. But yeah, I guess we're after whatever that is. If it's not the shield, then we shall do the shield. We shall make sure of it. You know what I mean? All right, there we go. Let's visit Greece, shall we? One last peek at the damage meter. No, no fishies, right? No fishies that I can see. But yeah, the special clearly did the most by a long, long shot after a cluster rockets came on board. Jolted oh, was not a close second, but it was a shockingly strong boon. We did not use the attack as often once the special came up. Yeah, and then Artemis' call did okay there, but again, if you... Average it across the biome, it's probably worse than a lot of the other boons that we had. But I think there, there's some weight behind a boon performing well in a boss fight, but not necessarily performing well in chambers full of little enemies. Like, there, there, there's a place for those boons. So maybe Artemis is, like, kind of okay. Hey! So much water. Come on. Uncle Poseidon's realm. Come on. Damn. Damn. The base. I often tend to prioritize boons that provide AoE damage, like Chain Lightning and stuff like that, more. Now, there can't be another fish in here, right? I don't think so. All right, we're going to listen to Persephone. Son, I have to ask you, how much do you know about your relatives upon Olympus? A little. I've been in contact with Athena, Zeus, and other members of the family ever since I first left father's house. They've been assisting me in getting here. No. Sagrius, what have you done? You've let them here? No, no, they think... They think I'm trying to escape from father so that I can join them on their mountaintop. At least I think that's what they think. Most of them, anyway. But then, does Hades know of this? That Olympus is involved? He does. Both he and Nyx. In fact, it's Nyx who put me and Olympus into contact. I could never have broken free of the underworld if not for their help. Sounds risky, bud. So Nyx and Hades are against each other then? And Olympus is helping you? But they don't know I'm here as far as you're aware. That's right, more or less. Nyx and Father seem to put up with each other. Don't seem to have much of a choice. Though ever since I learned of you, Nyx has been helping me to find you. While Father's tried to stop me. That fool. What was he thinking? What is he thinking? Do you suppose he thinks that he's protecting me from them? I... Uh, I think maybe he does think so indeed. Because now having met my relatives upon Olympus, I can definitely see that they can be a bit vindictive about things. A bit? A bit? Vindictiveness runs in the family, my son. Then, if Olympus is involved, that would explain a lot. I'm here, not there with them, as you can see. But, oh, it seems we'll have to speak some more when next you return. They really pave over a lot of the weird oh, shit I that happens in Greek return. myth. <laughs> as they kind of have to, like, you know, <laughs> you, I don't know, you kind of can't talk about a lot of this. Like, I probably can't even discuss some Greek myths without getting demonetized oh, or whatever. Going to be <laughs> I'm not, I'm certainly not an expert or anything anyway. All right, let's get our meta stuff going. Ban is here now, so let's make sure we talk to him. Since there is sort of a, a faded list thing around, uh, 
don't think I'm welcome in there. Meeting a bunch of people. In fact, I should probably just talk to everybody in case it's important. Quite a mess you've... No. We're probably so far behind in Hades' dialogue that it doesn't really... Well, the game, the game is well handled, but the game's probably still catching up very far in that. Hmm. Better heals from the fountains or just give me fountain rooms. Possibly neither. I don't know. Fish man. Ooh, three fishies. One ambrosia, two nectar, 20 jams. Not terrible. What's the special deal here? It's always important to check the special deal. Yeah. Three keys for 25 dank. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'll take this we need so many things. keys. So we need 20 keys to unlock the next part of the mirror. Frustratingly. Nick's my so we're still very far away. Uh, Let's see if the fatal list has anything careful. new for us. It does not, unfortunately. New details of another prophecy. Supposed to meet two people. Oh, the last person met Electo. So that means Tisiphone's probably one of them. Then, then who's the last person we're supposed to meet? I wonder. Could it be Patroclus? Sisyphus and Eurydice aren't on there, interestingly. Huh. But yeah, getting 10 keys from that would be nice. So maybe we can plan to have... Be holding 10 when we complete this, basically. And that way we get the 20 for the mirror. Kind of looking around a touch here. God. The ones based around hammers take forever to do, right? Oh, we got to get one with uh, the shield to get 10 Titan blood. That's not bad. We still got to do uh, slash benefits. We have three Titan blood from just beating a bunch of mini bosses. Can't really control that, right? Or is it is it mini bosses? Dire bother. Dire soul catcher. Dire gigantic vermin. Or are these just enemies? No, they're, I think they're mini bosses, really. Wait, did we run into gigantic vermin? Oh, dire gigantic. No, it's tiny vermin. Duh. I wonder if tiny vermin is the last one then. Because we did the bother, the vermin, the cultist. It might be tiny vermin. Okay. In the meantime, we only got 65 blood now. <laughs> I don't think we need the health, but honestly, the health is probably the, the right choice here. We do get to unlock the hidden aspects now. Oh, now they show you the, the heat. The heat uh, doodads here. Maybe we'll go for them before the series is over. So we can look at them now. You just protect me. Be using that thing now, huh? Ooh. What in blazes? What in blazes? But I can't spend my time and blood yet because I told y'all that I'll try to use an aspect first. I don't know if we're really going to spend all of our Titan blood on whichever one we do first. We'll probably... Yeah, I don't know. I guess we should spend some gemstones here. I suppose we should. We probably can, at least. There's like a fountain room we could grab. They're pretty cheap. And maybe just make the fountains a little bit stronger. Plus, there might be some hidden things here. I'll save some of the gems, though. We'll make the fountains a little bit stronger. And then, I don't know, either we'll save up the gems to convert to keys or something here, probably after this. Yeah, you can make the fountains even stronger. I mean, this is still pretty good. I don't think we need the codex here. Thank you all so much for watching. It was a good episode, right? It was fun. It was quicker than usual, too. That's for sure. <laughs> Hope you all enjoyed it. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what aspect we shall be taking out for a spin for the first run that we can do it with. That is all.